bronze medalist at the Pan American Games in Toronto in 2015. You wonder if uh, Fignol's besties are behind him. They're the judges who will make that decision. From Poland, Estonia, Norway, Italy and Korea. Ten points must is the scoring system. Three rounds of three minutes each. Fignol in the blue. Ivan Popov from Bulgaria. The man in charge. In the red is De Los Santos. Vignol. The Venezuelan will be uh, advised just to take a measure of uh, opponent he doesn't know a vast amount about and as you can see de los santos is uh, taking this fight to Vignol in the early stages Loves high, but quick counter from Fignol. Outstanding as a as a young fighter, Yo Fignol. There's an arrogance there because he's landed a couple of decent punches. De Los Santos continues just to try and force him into the corners. Dancing feet gets him out of any problems at the moment and then helps launch an attack. Top pugilists always have those lovely, lovely light feet. Two haymakers go absolutely nowhere from De Los Santos. And he needs to be careful because he'll um, just blow himself out. Trying to get inside, trying to, to make the statement early on. 30 seconds left in this first round. He's found uh, Fignol an evasive target. Final few seconds of the round, and it's been a little bit like that, and, but uh, got to be the clenched fist, and Fignol, a little tap on the gloves there, in respect for De Los Santos. The Dominican fighter. Plenty of activity from him. Plenty of vocal support in the in the crowd for him as well. As you can see, the evasiveness there of Fignol. And he's just landing punches on the counter. Not big punches, but point scoring punches. Split call, that's fair enough.
in favour of the youngster from the Dominican Republic. He's carrying on the, the same aggression and he's got this crowd right behind him which can be a, both a good thing and a bad thing it can actually urge you on a little bit in cavalier fashion Vignol's counter loves were high the back of the head and there'll be a well a telling off for Fignol more than De Los Santos now De Los Santos not round the back of the head but he's carried on where he left off in the first round De Los Santos you can see the corner Behind for De Los Santos, very excited by this performance. Loves her up though. So an exchange of punches there. Low blow. Final minute of the round, and Fignol still not really been able to find a way to slow down De Los Santos. And the young Dominican fighter carries on coming forward. Fignol forced into retreat, and now up against the ropes. That's better from Fignol. Quick raid, pick up some points, get out. De Los Santos cannot keep up that momentum that he had for the first two and three quarter, one and three quarter rounds. Grandstand finish to the end of this second round though. And Fignol and uh, touching gloves. And the Dominican De Los Santos is really giving this one a go. who's uh, won titles in the past, is used to being in the latter stages of competitions. He's got himself a, a real problem at the moment in this round of 62. He is behind on two of the judges' scorecards. This is going the distance, and if De Los Santos is able to maintain the pace that he has shown over these first two rounds, there could be an upset on the cards here. And he knows it. He knows it. His corner knows it. That's how close it is. De Los Santos leads on two of the judges' cards. The other three, we are all square. Three minutes to really make a name for himself. Venezuelan, Joel Fignol needs to really do something to change the momentum of this contest. At the moment he's happy to, to sit back. Now trying to counter. Final two minutes of what's been the, the fight of the 
tournament so far. Certainly the fight of this way category. Big right into the body. But look at that. See the way Jose de los Santos just took it. Stood up and came right back at her. Yo, Fignol. The Venezuelan is shaken. He's got to do something big in the final 90 seconds. Final minute. De Los Santos from the Dominican Republic in the red. Still got a hold on this fight. He's still the man in charge of it. It's up to your Fignol to take the fight away from the uh, man in red. Fignol, arms lower now, trying to take more risks, trying to come in. Twenty-seven-year-old's got experience, but the youth of uh, De Los Santos just keeps coming back at him. Good inside, but it's blocked by the glove of De Los Santos. Final twenty seconds, and De Los Santos looks like he's done enough. He's looking pretty tired at the moment, but he's been able to last the full three rounds. Fignol knows that he's got to go for a big finish. Wow. Wow. Both men claiming the victory. But I think it's bravado from your Fignol. And Jose de los Santos and his corner will be very, very confident that they can produce a, a real upset here. Or have produced an upset here. Both men claiming victory. The scorecards are in. Split decision. Wow. Vignal does not like that. But the victory has gone. To Jose de los Santos of Dominican Republic. He was able to hold on. Vignal didn't do enough. It's a four to one decision as well. He was the aggressor right from the get go. Uh, much as Vignal wanted to, to counter, he was just never given the opportunity. Completely tied up, constantly coming forward. Wasn't intimidated at all by the track record of the 27-year-old. And this is a really, really good victory for Dominica fighter Jose de los Santos. He will go on to take on Jean Casillo from Ecuador in the quarterfinals. There's the scorecard coming your way. Tight, 29 to 28. Only Estonia, though, in favor of the Venezuelan. So Dominican Republic's Jose de los Santo takes this one by a split decision, four judges to one.